Welcome to Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church, a church like none other's Sunday morning message, where you will hear the relevant, reviving, and refreshing Word of God. Now here is Pastor Vernon Bright. Luke, the 6th chapter, verse number 38. When you're bound to say amen. Amen. If you're still looking, say I'm still looking. Just look up on the screen. We are bound. Ready to read. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall man give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Amen. Hold up your mind. Hold up your mind before you sit down. Hold up your mind. Keep your mind. Let's repeat our faith quotation. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. Y'all, I can do what it says I can do. I am a believer, not a God. I am a doer and not just a hearer. And my life is a bad. After having heard the word of faith, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Amen. I want to use, you may be seated in the presence of God. I want to use for a title, if I could, today. Uh, help. I need a financial breakthrough. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. I need a financial breakthrough. I need a little something. All right. <laughs> my money just ain't right. Amen. You know, we, we'll say sometimes, my money fun. Right well, you need help to quit, to keep your money, to quit laughing at you. Yeah. <laughs> we need some things. From the Lord, yeah. and only God can give us a breakthrough. Right. Now, yeah. um, in this verse, Jesus beautifully explains the universal principle <laughs> of give, and it will be given again unto you. He teaches a generous man or an unselfish woman would not only benefit from the generosity and graciousness of others, but they will watch this poor and they left good measure, press down and shake it together. Yeah, yeah. See, ain't nobody happy. Amen. Amen. See, here's the thing that's keeping you from, I say, your next wealthy place. You're not willing to give generously. Well, now, again, I don't think that Christians have an issue with giving. You went through the other mobile family. We don't have a problem with giving. We just have a problem with where we give. Right, right, right. Uh-huh. Right. You give to Walmart. Yeah. And will not exchange the word. Right. I mean you may exchange the item, but you ain't gonna exchange the word. Yeah. You give to the grocery store. Yes. And will not exchange a word. Right. You'll give at the gas station mm -hmm. and you may complain a little bit. Yeah. And you'll give at the casino. Did I guess it, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And won't even get too mad. Yeah. But when it comes to God's house, you have a problem giving. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You pitch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Most people in church, Christians, are tithers. Yeah. Yeah. I call them tippers. They have tipped the Lord. Yeah. I want you to know he ain't waiting tables. Right. The table you sit at is his. Yes, right. Lord. Right. Yes, Lord. So you got to stop trying to tip him and give him what he asked for. Right. Right. Then he will set the table in the presence of your enemy. Yeah. Your enemy yeah. not just somebody all the time. It could be you. Yeah. Right. He'll set the table if you're allowing to. Yeah. But don't tip him. Yeah. He, don't, he don't receive tips. Yeah. He received the tithe. Yep, yep, yep. Amen. Amen. Giving to others is a little act, well, in a little act of kindness, or through a generous attitude of care and, if you will, concern, will often result in thoughts and deeds and gracious attitude being reflected back on you. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> when you put others first all the time, then somebody put you first in their mind. Yes, 
Well, I, I just told you what if you if you yeah. if you yeah. if you thinking yeah. about somebody else, yeah. then that means somebody's thinking about you. Yeah. Amen. First and foremost, yes, Lord. we gotta stop being so stingy. Yes. We got we gotta stop being stingy. You have what you say. Yes. I learned too that most people have a problem getting what they want. Right. If they want it. Yeah. But most of the time in the church, we want, if you will, for lack of a better word, the church to do all the giving. Well. Mm -hmm. And you want to do all the receiving. All right now. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I, I come to church. Okay, that's cool. Ain't got a problem with that. Ain't got a problem with that. Every now and then, if you eat, beating and weaning, bring some beating and weaning. I'm just saying. If you like sitting in heat or air, put a little something in the pot for the heat and air. Okay, okay, ain't nobody with me. Y'all heard this, y'all heard this before, I think you heard it. People show sure act funny. <laughs> yes, they do, y'all. <laughs> but actually, people don't act funny when they get a little money. They already funny before they got the money. Amen. Amen. <laughs> money just doesn't cover them. Yeah. That's all they did. They already funny. Yeah, the money just uncover them. Amen. Oh, I said, if a joke was stingy when he got money, he was stingy before he got it. Amen. If they generous when they get money, they were generous before they got it. Amen. 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 The Lord of God is displayed in our giving. How many of you love the Lord? Amen. With not just your mouth. Amen. With his money. Amen. Watch out now. They're recording this. It's his money you got to give him. Amen. Watch. You are, you are, if you are a giver, then you can be a receiver. Amen. And then once you realize that you're receiving from your giving, you want to give more to receive more. Amen. Amen. It makes sense. Yeah. If, if you plant a little corn, expect a little corn. Right. But if you plant a whole lot of corn, expect a lot of corn. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you. I used an example before. Out there you may see some Soybeans or corn or cotton or whatever it is. Anybody been driving down the road to see whatever's growing and then you see a big spot or an empty place or skip? Mm -hmm. yeah. That means ain't no seed in there. Yeah. That's all that means. Ain't no seed there. So if you don't put no seed in the ground, don't expect nothing to come up. Amen. If you don't give God anything to work with, don't expect anything from God. Amen. 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 So it says, give and it shall be given Unto you. The prerequisite is you must give. Amen. Amen. I can't afford to. Wait a minute. You can't afford not to. Amen. The more you give, the more he gives back to you to give. The Bible says he gives seed to the soul. If you're not sowing, he's not giving you any seed. Amen. 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 Is there anybody here, and I don't know the answer, that has ever needed or need a financial breakthrough? Amen. 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 Watch this. When you need a financial breakthrough, you, the, one of the first things you got to do is obey. Amen. 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 Here is one thing you can put first and foremost and put a pen on it. 
You got to watch what you say out of your mouth. Amen. You will have what you say. Amen. You eat the fruit of your lips. You need a financial breakthrough and you running around every chance you get telling everybody who will listen to you, I'm broke. You have what you say. Yes. You, the Bible said death and life. It ain't telling me that natural death and life is in your tongue. Yes. Right. You got to be careful what you say out of your mouth. Amen. You eat the fruit of your lips. Yes. If you ain't got it, don't walk around telling nobody you ain't got it. Amen. And if you just got to tell somebody you ain't got it, just say I ain't got it yet. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> It matters what you say. Yeah. Amen. The fruit of your lips. Yeah. If you watch this, that's the first thing. Watch your mouth. The next thing is you got to put your mouth into action. Yeah. What you say, I love God. What they're showing. Amen. He trying to get you to your next wealthy place, which is out of your financial dilemma, but you won't let it work for you. Yeah, right, man. Amen. I ain't got but a little bit, so a little bit. Amen. Amen. The little bit will bring you a lot. Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you here, here a little bit. Anybody ever seen a mustard seed or a green seed? You know, Amen. mustard green. Amen. Little seeds. Look, you get rid of the seeds, small that. We're looking at the hole, the seed on the inside of the hole. It's mine. But you can plant one little seed in the ground and then it'll make a whole bunch of greens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let it grow long enough, it'll grow big and a lot of other greens will be grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One little seed. Amen. So don't think don't discount a little. Amen. Okay, come on, get with me now. Yeah. Amen. And anybody 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 ever used in the dynamite? Mm -hmm. Nobody ever? Yeah, anybody ever pop the fire crop? Amen. Dynamite. <laughs> it's that small. You look for a big stick. It's small. Fire crop will do the same thing to your head as a dynamite will. Amen. It'll blow it off. Amen. 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 If you, listen, I'm a, some people, who <laughs> I got to tell you, some people put more, I give more to dynamite then they will to the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 You think I'm lying? Be at my mama house on 4th of July. They light more. Them nephews of mine light it up. Yeah, they, do. they have the sky lit up. Amen. I think it's World War 19. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff be flying everywhere. But we got to understand, we got to learn to put our finance in the right place for our finance to start producing for us. Amen. 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 And the reason, if you will, if you are, I'm sorry, if you are an active and obeying God, he seems to always give you vision, watch this, for things that are bigger than you. Amen. Okay, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? You need a financial breakthrough. Amen. So he's going to ask you to do something that's really going to go against your brain. Amen. It's going to be bigger than you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Come on now. He, what he is, he'll put you in a position and think you'll need him and you need a financial breakthrough. It's bigger than you, so you got to trust him. Amen. Amen. You got to trust him because what you need is you need more than $50. All right. I'm just saying you need $500. Amen. It's more than $500. You really need $50 million. Amen. But it's bigger than you, but you need God to move on your behalf. Amen. But whatever you do for God, God ain't going to let you outdo him. He's going to outdo you giving back. Amen. Here it is. The more you, yeah. the more he gives back to you. He, God is a jealous God. He made that plan. He ain't going to let you outdo him. If you do him right, he gonna do you right yes, earth. Yes, if you love him, he gonna love you more. Yeah. That, that's what my grandson got there, brother. Love you more. He know that's how I love you. I love you more. That, that's what you want. You want more love. That's right, man. You need more grace. Yeah. All right. I'm getting now. 
And the reason he does is, is he wants us to depend on him because if we did it ourselves, we'll take the credit. Amen. Amen. If you get out of your financial dilemma yourself today, you're going to take all the credit. Amen. We're talking about finance today. Amen. I ain't talking about health today. I have to help somebody today with their health situation. They deny it. I told them I read three chapters okay. of a medical book. Okay. But anyway, we move on. <laughs> financial difficulties are, well, financial in your life, more financial, will solve a lot of your difficulties. Amen. Amen. Yes, it will. Amen. You, you, you're wrestling a little easier. If you had more than enough money. Amen. Yes. You'd be a lot friendlier. Yes. Amen. Come on, let's keep your career now. If you yeah. had more money. Yeah. You, might, you might even do a little bit more. Yes. If you had a little bit more money. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. So money is important to you. Yes. Amen. Amen. The Father wants to take you to another level, and He gives us even more a greater task when you want to go to another level. God says, watch this, he told the rich young ruler, have you done X, Y, Z? The rich young ruler says, I've done all that. He's okay, one thing you're lacking. Give. Amen. Give. Amen. Young ruler couldn't handle that. He treated people right. Amen. He fed them. Come on, he gave him something to drink. Amen. Gave him some clothes. Amen. Went to visit in the hospital. Went to visit in the nursing home. Went to visit when they had death in the family. But he would not give his money. Yeah. And the Bible said he went away sad. Yeah. And watch this. The thing about that is you'll never hear about him no more. Yeah. I wonder what happened to him. Amen. Don't let your disobedience Calls you from getting your breakthrough. Amen. 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 Whenever you come to the church, or business, or whatever, or in your personal life, what I want to learn is to get in a place where I can get in partnership with God with my finances. Amen. Okay. Here we go. Y'all help me, cause I've been doing pretty good. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, and all or everything that's in it. So watch what you got. Honestly, ain't yours. That's right, man. That's right. But he's allowing you, or asking you, to get in partnership with him, where he can share what's already here with you. That's right. God Almighty, boy. He said, "If you get in partnership with me, I'll give you the desires of your heart. I will come to your rescue, and all I ask you to do is give me back what's already mine." Come on now. It, it, it goes on down in Malachi and says, will a man rob God? Yeah. How do you rob him in your tithe and your offering? Yeah. Stay with me. Stay with me. See, it ain't, he don't need the money because it's already here. What he want to do is glorify himself in your life if you give like he said give. That's all he want to do. Because all you going to say, look what God done for me. That's all he want. That's all he want. You giving God the glory. Yep. You telling somebody, I, I need a raise. Girl, they ain't giving no raise. Yet you ain't with me. Yep. I serve a God who got houses and land. Yep. You better remember that the earth is the Lord yep. and the food is there yep. and everything yep. that's in it. What you talking about? I can't get a raise. Yep. Amen. Amen. Come on, God. Amen. Look at God stepping on time. Yep. And then you're going to tell somebody, whoop, there it is. Yep. So you got to learn to trust God yeah. in your difficult time. It this is how I love God when it's going smooth. Yeah, yeah. You're hollering and jumping and everything going smooth. Yeah. The minute things go bad, you cry. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. The yeah. same thing you did when everything was going smooth. Yeah, Holler and jump. Give God the praise. Yeah, Come to church, serve the Lord. Give more. Yeah, Amen. Amen. God wants to get you to your next financial breakthrough. Yeah, amen. 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 When, when you get past this, you got to know. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants you to be an even greater giver. Yeah. 
He wants you to be watching even a greater receiver. That's right. Come on. It's more blessed to yeah. than it is to receive. He didn't say what blessed to receive. Yeah. He said that's more greater to give. Yeah. And that he knows if you're a giver, you're going to receive to give. Yeah. It's more greater to give yeah. than it is to receive. Yeah. But ain't nothing wrong with receiving. Yeah. That's why I don't holler any way you bless me, Lord. That's how I want you to bless me. Because yeah. I already know any way you bless me, I ought to be satisfied when you know me. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. The Bible says I can give more when I learn to give to the kingdom of God. Amen. I explain this to some people about giving. I explain to y'all to some other people. I said, I want you to watch this to partner with me in a kingdom project. And whatever you do for the kingdom, God does for you. Anytime you help with a kingdom increase or a kingdom project, God has to bless you because you can't do nothing for God. He don't reward you for it. Yeah, uh, okay, here we go. We're going to go back and make it simple. Here's the reward. Give. Yeah, and it shall be. Yeah, okay, who's going to give? Here. He's going to call somebody. going to raise up somebody with their influence, their finances, with their with whatever favor to help you do what you need to do. But it's through him when you give it that he calls somebody to give. He touched the heart of somebody. Amen. I'm preaching better y'all saying amen. You, this is how you get your breakthroughs. Uh, I don't need no money. Put a line. Yes, you do. And just in case you don't need it, get it anyway. Amen. And bring it to the church. Amen. Then watch me use it like it's supposed to be used Amen. to cause increase. Yeah. And since you brought it to the church, watch you be increased. Right. Amen. 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 See, this is the thing. I think people miss that you got to do kingdom work first for God yeah. to move on your behalf. Amen. Amen. Watch. You ain't got to go there. But Ephesians, and I y'all hear me say this, 6 and 8 says, what good thing you may happen for enough that you got to help somebody somebody. Sometimes you got to help somebody. You got to help the right somebody. You got to you gotta help who God tell you to help. Then you got to help when kingdom project. When you help with kingdom project, then God steps in and says, what good thing you make happen for another, the same I'll make happen for you. And God ain't no shorter than his word. He's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. And watch, he ain't gonna be outdone. Right. Amen. He ain't gonna be out there. If he out there. Listen, if you give a million dollars to the kingdom, he gonna give a million and one. Yeah. He ain't gonna be outdone. Right. Amen. Amen. See, you gotta be, look, I, y'all, I do this kind of stuff, and I get that's why I do because I want testimony something down the road. I told, I told one of my officers, I said, I'm close to a million dollars receiving for this project. They said, you one dollar go away. I'm more than a dollar away. Mm-hmm. But since y'all didn't get that, I believe it for a million dollars. Amen. I ain't but one dollar away, I received that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then since I believe for ain't but a dollar away, I'm gonna shoot with two million. Yeah. Keep rolling. <laughs> y'all ain't there yet. Amen. So how important is your mindset? Well, I can tell you, it's very important. Your mind got to be right. Because yes, right. yes. all financial challenges, I'm going to help you right here now. Ain't your fault. Amen. Amen. Some stuff you get in just ain't your fault. Amen. You didn't count on your car breaking down. Right. You were trying to save, but the, the, it cost more to get it fixed than you got saved. Well, right. So now you got to do what you got to do to get, get it fixed. Right. You, 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 you didn't look for the refrigerator to stop working. Mm-hmm. But it did. Mm-hmm. You didn't plan on it. You got an emergency fund, but it's more than an emergency fund. Mm-hmm. They tell you what, put back $1,000. Yeah. Refrigerator got more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know. Not that I knew. I wouldn't look one up and say, ooh, that's a nice bread. I look at Jack and go, ooh, that's a real nice bread. $2,500? What are they going to do? They going to cook? 
You don't wash the car? Yeah. Hey, don't, don't put food on the table? It don't go shopping? Yeah. It don't restock itself? Yeah. I'm just saying, I mean, you know, I ain't, I ain't complaining about the price. I just wonder. Yeah. Something that happened in your finance ain't your fault. Amen. You didn't plan on somebody getting sick in your family right. and the medicine costing $200. Right. You, you didn't plan on that. Right. But it happens. Yeah. But oftentimes, our financial dilemma ain't nobody's fault but yours. Amen. And I'm a God choosing them. Amen. 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 We got to understand that we didn't do something right. So let's talk about our breakthroughs. Okay? Sometimes before you need a financial breakthrough, don't get mad at me, you need a mental breakthrough. Amen. Amen. You got to change the way you're thinking. Well, Amen. I ain't going to never have nothing. See, look how you think. Well, mm -hmm. Everybody got something for me. Look how you think. Mm -hmm. You're thinking wrong. Right. You ain't everybody, and everybody ain't you. Right. Right. You got to keep yourself in the right mental state. Yep. Amen. Amen. You got to be, you got to stay full of confidence. Amen. I was talking to a person yesterday. And first I was laughing and talking. And then, you know, and, and I got ready to walk over and the person made a statement. And I knew the statement was, I didn't know it was going to come like that, but I knew it was coming because I've been looking at the situation for a while. I knew this person had a mental deficiency. Mm -hmm. Depression. I stopped. I said, first of all, what makes you think you got depression? I didn't deny the fact that they said they had depression. They went on to tell me. I said, now, since you see it that way, do you know that God is able to do just what you need him to do in that state? What do you want God to do? You got to do something for God to come through for you. Well, amen. Amen. You got to make a move. Yeah. This is what they tell me. They said, you know what? When I was walking, I did that. When I would get out the house and go sit at the bar and drink me some coffee, I did that. Well, Sometimes I get me a sausage biscuit and have breakfast at the bar. I did a little bit that. I found me something to do and I got to get in bed. I said, well, what stopped you from doing that? I said, see, you got to keep doing what you were doing to keep your mental deficiency from coming into play. <laughs> Y'all missing what I'm saying? Yeah. Most Christians got mental issues. Yeah. Because they're dealing with stuff. Yeah. You miss what I'm saying? That's they're right. dealing with stuff, and, and, and they are saying to themselves, I really don't know how to handle it. They're dealing with stuff, and they need right mindset and how to deal with it. Right. That's right. You don't need to tell somebody it's going to be all right when you don't know how to tell them it's going to be all right. Amen. You need to tell them this is how you got to take the step for it to be all right. Right. I told this individual, you need to get back to the house of the Lord and you need to get you a word. Yeah. Amen. You need to get you a word. A word with one word will change your mental outlook. Yeah. One word. Yeah. 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 One yeah. word from God will change yeah. your yeah. mental capacity. Yeah. Yeah. One word. Yeah. It'll help you get through that. Yeah. I don't deny the person, I just don't accept it. Right. Right. Amen. 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 I, I listen, bad things that happen to good people all yeah. the time. Yeah. Bad things that happen to me. But I don't hold myself hostage yeah. thinking about my past of bad things. Yeah. Yeah. I've been mistreated. Yeah. Yeah. Misused, abused. I've been I, I, when I say abused, ain't not, not physically, but I've been, but hey, I, I don't I don't stay in that state. Yeah. I'm looking to my better. Yeah. Yes, yes. Come on, y'all. Yes. You gotta help yourself with that. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch. Hannah, you got know about the story of Hannah in the Bible? Yeah. Hannah wanted some children. Yeah. Okay, okay, let, 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 me, let, me, let me set the stage for you. You know, y'all you, been looking around and you see everybody getting what you want? Mm. Come on now. Amen. You've you been looking around and you see everybody yeah. else getting. What you trying to get. Yeah, and you be wondering how they got it. Mm -hmm. Well, Hannah was in a relationship. And all otherwise having babies. 
Hannah want a baby. Yeah. Hannah want a baby. Hannah refused to stay in her state, so Hannah went down to the church house, Amen. the temple, and prayed about this thing. Then the prophet or the man of God got in agreement with Hannah, and Hannah ain't had a baby yet, but Hannah let the her countenance change because she believed in her mindset of about to have a baby. Amen. You got to see yourself about to give birth to something you've been wanting for a long time. Amen. You got to see yourself like that. Amen. Hannah hadn't had a baby yet before it all said and done. Hannah had a whole bunch of children. See, it may not come when you want it, but it's going to be right on time. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yeah. Abraham needed a breakthrough. Amen. Abraham, watch this. Y'all got to catch it. Abraham was told he's going to be the father of many nations. He was, going, he was told he was going to be the father of many. At this particular time when God told him, he hadn't had any. Amen. But he had to go to God and God had to take him some praise and get, take him to himself and said, look him, uh, Abraham, look up at the sky. If you can count the star, if you can put a phase on every star, that's how many descendants you're going to have. Anybody ever try to count the star? Amen. It's more than you got than you can imagine. You think you may make it to ten, then you're gonna get lost. And that listen, God already got blamed you what he gonna do. You just gotta believe he's gonna do it just like he said he's gonna do it. And I want you to realize this what God got promised for you, and if he already told you gonna be it, you will not die till it come to pass. Yeah. Abraham had a breakthrough, and he needed one right too. So there's a little breakthrough, and then there's another. There's a manifested breakthrough. That's when I'm watching this, in possession of that I've been in faith for. See, some of y'all been believing God for some for a minute. Amen. Yes, yeah. Amen. It ain't came to pass yet. But it's coming. Amen. When it manifests, you're going to tell somebody. Amen. Because you're going you to say, I've been waiting this a long time. Amen. See, and when it comes to, uh, it, it may not be that but a sound matter. When you get your mental breakthrough, you're going to manifest in your life. You're going to tell somebody, I almost lost my mind. Amen. But God helped me through that thing. Well, Is that what I'm saying? Yes, See, a breakthrough, you need that. And when it's manifested, you got to tell somebody how you got it. Amen. Don't be keeping that to yourself. Amen. When you're going through sometimes, you gotta get, I'm telling you, to get a word. Watch this. When I needed a when I needed a manifested breakthrough, or when I needed a mental breakthrough, a woman got to the woman in my life by the man by the name of Matty Bell Ray. Right. Matty Bell Ray told me, you go to Isaiah and you get Isaiah 26 and 3, and you post it there where you go, brother. He that keeps his mind on Jesus or keep him in perfect peace. Yeah. I had to keep my mind on what God was saying. That's how I kept my peace. Well, I'm working at a place they ain't liking what I'm working at. I work with a hard headed children. I ain't that's a hard headed, yeah. hard headed children, yeah. abused children, don't want to do it. And the woman worked the ball, the management wasn't no good. But she told me, keep your mind on Jesus. Keep your mind on Jesus. Amen. And watch you keep you in perfect peace. Yeah. Amen. Before I got some peace on cursing trees. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes, man. Yeah, I'm talking to trees, you're no good tree. Tree ain't done to me. I'm praying pity party prayer. God, I ain't hearing none of that because you ain't real. Amen. But when I talk to him, because they already know, God ain't scared of me. Right. He created me. Right. He can say one word out, lay down and die. He can right. be the same when I get up and live again. Right. He ain't scared of me. Amen. But when I told him about my mental state, he said, well, we got that. He about to get a breakthrough. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. A manifested breakthrough. Then you got another one. You got to manage your mindset. You got to watch what you keep your mind on. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. Watch this. You ever, you ever, you ever, you ever just been a, you ever been a, anybody about like social media? You're yeah. in church. Yeah. Okay, don't 
look down and be in rage. Yeah. Sometimes Instagram ain't going to help you. Amen. It just makes me laugh. But they ain't help you with your money. Well, okay. Snapchat, we just chatting about. You chat about everything, but how God going to help you with your well, money. Well. Come on. Facebook. I'm just looking at a lot of folks doing. Mm-hmm. Now, you ain't got that many friends, no way. Well, okay. 975 friends. I don't know that. No, you know. Well, you look at a friend everybody. You just right. knows it. Yeah. That ain't helping you with your weight, though. Right. Come on now. I ain't saying, I ain't saying don't get on it because I ain't saying. That ain't helping you. Right. Come on now. It ain't helping you. Oh, okay, okay. Some of that. I, I, I don't do it. I don't do this with me, okay? What you need with a $1,400 iPhone? Well, right. <laughs> Call out the board and count. Okay. But how they helping you? Them $1,400 that you put on the iPhone, you may could have put a half of them somewhere else, you've been out of debt. Right. I'm just saying. Amen. They laugh at me. Papa got an Android, uh huh. <laughs> Eat the pastor. I, I talked to a pastor friend about, Pastor, you got an Android, go and keep an Android. I don't want an iPhone. I don't need a I don't need an iPhone 14 with nine cameras. I don't take no many pictures. I don't need that. I the apps I got on all of you. And if I got them, I can't find them. I'm just saying. I don't need all that. My Android doesn't. I don't do a make a call. I want to receive a call. Now all the phones messed up now to tell me. <laughs> so you gotta watch it. Get yourself saturated in God's word. Amen. Can I help y'all? Amen. <laughs> Come to church just on Sunday and hear me preach ain't enough. Amen. You have to saturate yourself with God's word. Amen. Okay, okay. Okay. You got to give more of your time to God. What I mean by saturate? Anybody like to take a shower? Amen. Going swimming? Amen. You get wet all over. Yep. You got to saturate yourself with God's word continuously. Amen. I mean, if you need a breakthrough, Amen. you ain't got time to take a break. Amen. I'm on vacation. Still think about God. Amen. Bring some God's word on you. Amen. We having a good time. Still give God some glory. Amen. You need a breakthrough. You need a husband, you need a wife, you need a girlfriend, boyfriend, phone, car, house, whatever you need, keep your mind on the Lord. You got to saturate yourself with God's word continuously. Yeah, he or she made you mad, but you got to keep yourself saturated on God's word. Yeah, your job got you jacked up, but you got to keep yourself in God's word. Yeah, you ain't making enough money, but keep yourself saturated in God's word, and then you watch your breakthrough come. Amen. 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 See, the shower is important because you feel you got stinky. Dirty. Maybe I should have said stink. Dirty. Or you just do it anyway because you do it. Okay, okay. Now watch this, watch this. The reason you got to saturate yourself with God's word in your mind, it keep you from having stinking thinking. You got to always have God's word on your mind. Amen. You better because you're going to think of, man. Have you ever been just minding your business and an intrusive thought come in? Amen. You didn't act for the thought, it just came. Because you didn't have nothing to block it. Okay? Mm-hmm. <coughs> you got to manage that thing. I got to start with God's glory on my mind every day. And you got to tell God, okay, God, I'm going to partner with you with my money. Mm-hmm. I'm going back to the money now. Y'all got happy long time talking about money. <laughs> Your money, you need to partner with, with God. It's really his money, okay? Amen. Come on, y'all. Then I'm going to watch this. 
obey you in every area of my life. <coughs> Watch this. Don't expect a full blessing. What I say? <coughs> if you're giving God a little bit here and there. You got to serve God in every area of your life. I heard somebody say this morning, I, I, they remember I supposed to be acting like a kingdom builder. Yeah. <laughs> and that's up for the Lord. Amen. You got to always watch yourself where you are. Right. Because somebody always watching you no matter where you are. Amen. 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 See, what, what gives me, not that I didn't want to come to church, but what gives me a good, watch this, a good reason to come and keep teaching like I'm teaching. If that little baby wanted to come to church and be praying for Amen. something, got to be doing right. Amen. Got to be. What? I can't deny this. When I see my boys in my, uh, Sunday school this morning, Davion and, uh, and, uh, and Malachi make sure I saw him. <laughs> and then he had to remind me about Friday. <laughs> But I'm glad they were here. Amen. Something got to be said or done for the journal here. I got to listen to me. Amen. 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 I'm going to honor him with my tithe. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to honor him with my offer. Amen. And when I do, 2 Corinthians 9 and 8 kicks in. And God is able to make, watch this, all grace abound towards you. Yes. And all sufficiency. See, God trying to get all grace to you where you can get blessed in all kind of ways. Amen. Come on, y'all. You need to find natural breakthrough. Sometimes, if you want, I talked to a guy the other day. He said, he'd been at work two years without missing a day. Boy, that's a lot of time. Yes, it is. And then he told him, his uh, supervisor he wanted to take off now the things have transpired and the supervisor said ain't gonna be no problem said I'm gonna try my best to keep the point from going against you Amen. cause two years of not being late not missing a day that's that cause for something Amen. Amen then favor is the willing of others to use their power ability and influence to help you see that's how you gonna get out of your financial dilemma yeah. You're going to give your tithe and your offering to the house of God. Amen. Then watch the day. When you give, you have the expectation God going to do something. Amen. God right now, when you do that, is going to move on somebody's heart with their influence, their finance, and their favor. And I should have put it another way, their favor and their finance to help you or to bless you get out of your dilemma. Amen. Amen. God can supernaturally cancel a debt. Amen. I know what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna tell you what I heard. He can supernaturally cancel a debt if you give him something to work with. Amen. See, you gotta specify your seed when you give it. Don't give just to be given. Don't give out of necessity. Say, God, I need this to bless somebody. Amen. To help somebody out. You got it? So when I understand, I immediately, if you will, and meanwhile I'm looking for favor, God's going to do the things he needs to do while I'm doing what I need to do what God told me to do. Amen. Step, another step. If you got an all against somebody, you forgive them. Amen. Today. Amen. Don't wait till tomorrow. Yeah. You try to find them. If you can't find them, if you know they out of state or wherever, you make a phone call. So I need to, I need to you know, get you to forgive me. Amen. To stop hanging up your finances. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's what you do. Okay, I'm about to. I got to be able to obey first and believe a favor must abound towards me, like God said. Mm -hmm. God is going to give me favor if you let Him give you favor. He'll give you favor. The little thing, watch this, is your utility bill. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Who don't want that utility paid by somebody else? Amen. Now that, that ain't no pay when you ain't got to pay it. Amen. Come on. Who don't want that mortgage paid by somebody else? Amen. Or rent, if you will. Come on. Who, who, don't, who don't want that car no pay? Come on now. Who don't want the gas company paid? 
Who don't want, if you will, the IRS to be paid? I get off your back. Come on. Who don't want a lawyer paid? A person in your life paid? Or who don't want the bank to cancel a debt? Or who don't want their relationship better? See, God's about to do something for you if you let him, he get you with your breakthrough. See, right now, while I was teaching you the word, and I'm finished almost, you have been making up in your heart's mind that I'm going to give God my best offering today. Today. I, it's more than just giving a tithe. You got to give a tithe and offering. Then the book of Malachi says, then he will rebuke the Lord for your sake. I mean the devil for your sake. Yeah, see, okay. The reason you're in a financial dilemma is because of Satan. Satan wants your seed to keep you from giving to God. That's why he tried to eat it up any way he can. That's why I watched it. Y'all may not believe it, but I got I got a few witnesses up in here. Don't know Santa Claus getting my money. Amen. Don't know Thanksgiving getting my money. I mean, I'm talking about the variables. Don't know Valentine's Day getting God money. I'm talking about God money now. Don't know birthdays get God money. Everything that I got going to God, going to God. Now they'll get their birthday present, they'll get some for Thanksgiving, they'll get some for Christmas, they'll get some for Valentine's Day, but don't nothing or nobody gets God's money. And when I sow my seed in tithe and offering, nobody can say, we're helping you do this. Well, you may be helping me, but honestly, my seed meets all of my needs. Amen. Because I'm constantly giving. There ain't a day go by, I ain't giving some kind of way. Because it says, give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. 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 And I'm talking about finance. It happens. It happens. You got to make up your mind today. I'm going to give. Yes. Look at somebody next to you and say, I'm giving. I'm giving. Yeah, I know what I've done before. I've done this. I ain't done it but one time. I ain't done it since. I've done it one time. One time I wanted to give. And I'd have to give. And I saw somebody I knew. I don't have to put some money. You borrowed to give. You borrowed for everything else. I borrowed and gave. And got blessed. And paid them back. You got it? So that's why even in this ministry, we allow children to give. I was so I was looking at the I was looking at the financial receipts. I don't know what day it was. I was looking at all I could see. I said, "Man, we got this many people church today." I didn't see that many people. All them children give. Yes. All of them. I mean, you know, they give to everything. Like that, how they know to get? They give to everything. Mm -hmm. See, just ain't for grown people. Children willing to give. Y'all be willing to give. So I know them kids ain't got no job. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I know they ain't. I'm looking on there. Them Franklin boys, two dollars. What he now? What he work at? <laughs> Another girl. I want to get a new jean. What she work at? I mean, they giving. You know, I mean, just giving. And it had to come back to them because God had no respect the person. He don't bless you because you old. Right. Oh, right. uh, he, uh, he, uh, he 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 blesses the person where you work. Yeah. You got it. Mm -hmm. So for your financial breakthrough. Give. You got it? That's how it is. All I told you today was give. Give and it shall be given to you. That's God's word for God's people. Amen. Amen.